Our industry loves problems. No, <laughs> never mind. We do not love problems. We love challenges. Although we are problem solvers, we all love challenges, right? We don't need any more problems. You can keep them. I, I don't need any more. Good. Just, just keep it at bay, right? You can have it. Go for it. But although we have plenty of problems and we have plenty of problem solvers, we also seem to have plenty of problem givers and problem distributors. And I don't know, what's the word for just passing on problems? It's fun, right? No, it's not. Don't be that person. Be the problem solver. Be part of that group. That's what we need back in construction. We need to take responsibility for these problems. We need to take responsibilities for these challenges. Um, be confident in our ability because we're all very skilled and we all know construction. We've been working in this forever. So who are the best people to solve these problems? Us. The people who work in construction, the experts. How do we shift our problem giver population back over to problem solvers? One, once we identify a problem, don't deny it. Don't just act like it's not there because that's just gonna push it down the road and it's gonna become a bigger problem. We all know that, right? Uh, but use your expertise, use your initiative, use your knowledge, use, use your resources. You've got plenty of them. There's so many people in construction willing to help. Figure out the best response, come up with a proposed solution or come up with a full on solution. And so the second is fix it, just do it. I know you can do it. Sometimes these problems and these challenges need approval, right? They need collaboration. There is a team involved. And so some of those problems need a team solution. So how do we approach that? Well, that's just as important as coming up with a solution for a problem. Yep. The worst thing we can do is go, hey guys, so we've got this major problem. <laughs> it's gonna hold up our schedule for about two weeks. Yeah, I I'm not really sure how to fix it. I'm actually going on vacation next week, so, uh, but I thought I'd let you know. Uh, sorry, are you shitting me? Uh-uh. So when we approach it with the team, we've come up with our solution, right? Yes, yes. When it comes time to mention that to the group, use I intend to. Saying I intend to has shown that you have thought it through and you're basically asking a yes or no question. You're asking, am I good or not? Or you could just write down a series of yes or no questions, not open-ended questions. Open-ended means they can have any kind of response to it. How was your day today? No. Um, instead, it's more, was your day good today? Yes or no question, right? Keep it simple. Or as we say in construction, keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> That's kind of rude. But um, so three, once we have a solution or we have permission, then do it. Yeah, fix it. Do whatever you gotta do. Use your experience, use your knowledge. I know you got it. You guys are, you're very talented. You're very experienced. You know the answer. You know you know the answer. So just do it. Do not leave it to somebody else. Do not expect that somebody else will do it. Take responsibility, do it. This does three things. One, it shows that you are capable, knowledgeable. You have initiative that you've thought it through. So you're contributing to the team. You're not being the team weight. Two, it saves time. Who doesn't need more time? Especially in construction. If you don't come with the yes or no, or if you don't come with the intend to statement to the table, to the owner, to the architect, to the client, to the boss, to your team, whoever, um, you're then bringing up an open-ended question. Well, everybody wants to think about mm. that. They want to be calculated in their response too. So they're gonna go back to their office, Ooh, talk to who they know, really? then you're gonna get probably 20 different results, 20 different opinions, 20 different statements. That's all gonna come back and we're gonna decide, ah, that's probably not the best way to go about that. Maybe we should do it this way or maybe we should do it this color, whatever. That's probably a week, maybe even two weeks later. Again, we don't have that time. I need this done now. So the yes or no answers, it's gonna get you your answers quickly. If it's not that same day, it's gonna be a lot shorter duration than having an open-ended question. And three, it gets the answers and the results that you need or that you want. You are influencing that decision, again, because of your expertise, because of your knowledge, because of your leadership. Again, one, identify it, don't deny it, don't put it off, don't procrastinate. Two, fix it. Or if we have to get approval, go up to our group, to our owner, to our client, 
and use the I intend to statement or yes or no questions. And then three, fix it. Yeah, do it. Again, don't be that person. Don't be the problem giver, the problem distributor, the problem passer, whatever. <laughs> be the problem solver. Embrace the challenge. Be confident in yourself and do it. You know you can.